So we implement all these attention uh, layers. Sometimes we call it attention mechanism, uh, but <laughs> you can pick up any name. We, but we usually call it the attention layer. Um, if we apply attention to a model, we call it apply attention mechanism. The first one is it's a utility function called max, the softmax. So we last, in the last lecture, we talked about not of mask, uh, like uh, the length. The idea here is that, well, um, if I get, let me get, grab some. The idea is here, if I have uh, n keys, like the keys from n, one to n, and sometimes I don't want to like, uh, even all the keys here, sometimes I think, okay, this is keys maybe from like a invalid token. I just um, uh, don't want to use them. You can do that. I just want to use in the first the k, maybe, uh, keys. We pick, we pick the valid length to be k. And then you only use the k, but we, but we don't know, like we still give you n keys. What you do here, you first uh, compute all this, like uh, uh, alpha one to alpha uh, a one to a n, but you want to pick up all the things into zero. Because you want to put the soft max, you really want to do is like you want to put the, the soft max score to be zero. Because you don't want to make the values into the output. To make the soft max to be zero, what you do here, you put this one into a, a, a negative infinity because you have exp in the softmax. So the idea here is that uh, no matter, like it's a 3D vector, but we can ignore this uh, reshaping. The idea here, you want to have a, uh, you have a mask, you want to have very negative values here. So it's a little bit different to before, we just set to zero, but now we set to uh, infinity numbers and then you can compute the softmax only on the tokens you want. So this is about this function. But inputs are very similar. Given, given a bunch of list of keys, given a valid length, we can uh, uh, set, mask the thing you want. Okay, so then like I can leave, probably ignore this function. So the first thing is called dot product attention. Um, let me see how many can maybe Maybe we should just show here. So attention, we usually can apply dropout at the end. The attention can be similar to a, mod, a dense layer. You can always add a dropout at the end, end. So the fourth function, the query will be the batch size and number of queries you have and the dimension of the query, which is a D, because it's dot products. You, you need to guarantee the keys, the queries and the keys have the same dimension. The keys also similarly batch size, the number of key value pairs, and dimension D. The values will be batch size, the number of key value pairs, and the value can be another dimension. Like the value in the length, we don't need to conceive about right now. We, we need that for the uh, transformer, but we don't need it right now. So then, uh, what we do here is that we just use a batch of dot. The, the idea here is that you, you need to, like, uh, um, it's a batch. For each batch, we do a metric metric multiplication. So it's Q times uh, K transpose. So then we give a query, we give a key, and say that transpose B equal to two, just we transpose K, key, okay? And then divided by the square root of D. So that's a, that's a score. So then given the score, we compute a softmax. So the, the only thing here we just, the max, the soft max, because you, you can give a valid length, which is um, for each key, for the n key, for each example, I can pick only the few key value pairs to be valid. So that's an additional thing. Put in the soft max, we give something, and then we use apply dropout to like a regularization term here. At the end, it's another batch dot. For each example, for the batch value, we just uh, like uh, it's a weighted sum for the weight we have. So this is the implementation of the tension layer. So basically, easy to understand is like compute scores, compute the softmax, uh, like uh, um, the tension weights, and then apply the weights to the values. So that's three lines of a code. Okay, any questions so far? Like take an example here, 
we do a dropout equal to a half, and given the keys, batch size equal to two, 10 keys, the keys length is two. The values is kind of uh, like uh, uh, the, mm, the oh well, the, um, we first create a, a single value, for example, then 10 values. This, this is the 10 should be equal to the number of keys we have. The value can have a different length. We here, we put a four here. And we repeat it by two times to get the two identical examples. So apply attention here. The, this, so this is a query. So it's batch size equal to two because we, we need to match the batch size. And we only have a single query here, one. And the query length is equal to two because the key length is equal to two. Then give keys, give values, and the value length means that the first example, we only consider first the two key value pairs. The second example, we will consider uh, six uh, examples. So then we can get the attention, which is uh, the batch size, the number of queries we have, and the values we have. So this is kind of the value we want to put. And because the second one have using more like um, you want to wait on more uh, values, which is the results are different, uh, slightly larger, uh, because like the value, the value size is uh, the value is different. Okay. So the idea here is like for these two examples, all these key value uh, queries are same, but choose a different value length, you will still, still get different uh, attention output. Okay. Then the, the other one is called multi-layer perception. Like <laughs> Jupiter always give you wrong. Uh, give you wrong. So a little bit harder, but you don't need to implement all these learnable parameters. We just create created two dense layers. The first dense layer we actually create three. WK is a dense layer. Uh, we use activation as tangent edge, uh, edge and. Um, we're using, uh, we don't use bias. Use bias equal to force. Because it's a 3D vectors, we just put the flat equal to force. We only apply dense layer to the last uh, dimension. Similar thing, we create WQ. There's another dense layer. And V is also a dense layer, but the output size is one. And we also don't, we, we don't use any activation function here, and also don't use any bias. The, the reason we don't just create WK and WQ because we just want the dense layer to manage all this parameter for us. And then, so let me just show the code. So once we have the parameter created, what we do here, given the query, the, the query we first project into a project query and also project project the key as well to get the query and the key. So now we have the same length. But the thing here, for each key value pairs, we want to sum them together. So what, what do we do here is that we just, um, let me maybe show some example here. Uh, we have the keys, is maybe n keys. You have n like, uh, queries, for example, uh, n queries. For each one, you want to adding them together um, to get a new one. So, but if you add in these two directly, you don't get anything. What you do here, you just make it into like 3D matrix. Uh, you make maybe it's by uh, D. I first make it an one D. Then I make it another 3D matrix called uh, one M. D matrix. And then sum them together, we will have broadcasting. We will broadcast this one along this vector by n times, and broadcast this one by n, n times. So we have all this n by m now sum them together. So that is the thing what we did here. Once we have that, uh, so this is expand all the dimensions and sum them together, and then project by V again. But we again uh, remove uh, the last dimension because the last dimension will become one because the applier vector here, the D will bec become one and then remove this one. You got n by, n by m, this is a score for the, all these query and uh, key pairs. 
Last is very similar. Put the scores into the softmax and have a valid length, have a dropout, get the tension weights, and apply to, uh, uh, to apply to the values. We get all this output. So the only difference is here, we do a projection and sum this together and another projection to get uh, scalar, um, scalar like uh, scores. So before we just uh, do a single inner products. So now, but now we have learnable parameters. So in general, the first one is easier. You computing that one is pretty cheaper. But now it's more uh, flexible because we can learn the parameters, learn the score functions, by making your computation much harder to run. So that's um, I can like similar thing. Uh, well, <laughs> very similar examples, but they show you that different scores. But I can I can ignore that. <laughs> 